Welcome to our new LSI series with me, Shiva. In this video, we're going to discuss Bahasa Indonesia loan words. Let's hold for a moment. Before we start, do not forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will stay updated on our latest content. Just like all languages, Bahasa Indonesia has borrowed and adopted many words from other languages. Through the centuries, several cultures have passed through the Indonesian archipelago, each leaving its mark on Bahasa Indonesia. In this five-part video series, we will look at commonly used Indonesian words originating from other languages. In this video, we will discuss words that have been borrowed from the ancient Sanskrit language of India. Upcoming episodes will be devoted to contributions from Portuguese language, the Arabic and Persian languages of the Middle East, the English language, and of course, Dutch. The Hindus and Buddhists of India were among the first to come to Indonesia, long ago, before the first century. And the Sanskrit language they brought with them has had more influence on Bahasa Indonesia than any other languages. Indeed, Sanskrit has contributed so many words to the Indonesian language that most people no longer perceive them as a foreign at all. There are far too many to mention in this video, but we have picked out a few interesting ones for you. Let's get started. Guru means teacher in Bahasa Indonesia and Siswa means student. The word Guru comes from the Sanskrit word Guru with the same spelling and meaning. And the word Siswa comes from the Sanskrit word Sisva which has the same meaning. Next, we have Suami which means husband in Bahasa Indonesia and Istri which means wife. The word suami comes from the Sanskrit word zvamin. To ancient female Sanskrit speakers, zvamin meant lord, master, and husband. And the word istri comes from the Sanskrit word stri. To ancient Sanskrit speakers, stri meant wife and bearer of children. Continuing on, we have wanita, which means woman or lady in Bahasa Indonesia, and pria, which means man. The word wanita comes from the Sanskrit word vanita with the same meaning, and the word pria comes from the Sanskrit word pria, meaning beloved, dear. Our next pairing is Puri, which means castle or palace in Bahasa Indonesia, and Kota means city. The word Puri comes from the Sanskrit word Pura, which means castle, fortress, walled enclosure. And the word Kota comes from the Sanskrit word Kota, meaning city or stronghold. And finally, we have a word that should be of interest to you language learners. The word is bahasa, which means language in Indonesian. The word bahasa comes from the Sanskrit word bahasa. Ironically, bahasa refers to vulgar vernacular speech as opposed to refined Sanskrit speech. As most of you probably already know, it really doesn't make much sense when somebody says to you, I have lived in Indonesia for one year and I already know how to speak bahasa. Because the word bahasa simply means language. If you say, I can speak bahasa, you are literally saying, I can speak a language. What would have to say, I can speak bahasa Indonesia? meaning the language of Indonesia or I can speak Bahasa Prancis meaning the language of France or I can speak Bahasa Inggris the language of England but again as I say 
If you have lived in Indonesia for any period of time, you already know all of that by now. Well learners, that's all we have for you today. I hope that, in addition to Bahasa Indonesia, you'll learn a bit about Sanskrit as well. Be sure to check out our video next week when we will explore Indonesian loan words from the Portuguese language. Don't forget to check out our social media accounts. Until then, sampai jumpa! Bamin. That's all we have for you today. Tolong, tolong. Peace, love, and gaul.